last name recording? Oh, yeah, there it goes. What's going on, guys? We're back with another video. This time we got some Porsche action. So I got an exhaust for the Porsche uh, to get rid of the little stealthy sound because I started to get tired of it. And Marl is going to uh, help us with this whole thing, learning process for all of us and for content. So yeah, then we'll get right into it, basically. I'm gonna keep it short and simple, featuring Brandon. And Mauricio. Marl, can you go ahead and start it up for us? Give it a quick rep. Silent. All right, he's gonna drive, get us a flyby clip, and then uh, we'll get right to it. That was wide open passing by? That was wide open passing by? In first gear. That way? Damn, that was silent, so. All right, I'm gonna move the 430. Let me go ahead and move the 430 and then we'll get right back to it. Remember when you said It doesn't get better than this Only a fool you go you got into my head am i about to lose myself when will all of this fade away cause i see colors for the first time i'm starting to realize nothing's ever black and white and i'm caught up in the first night now it doesn't feel right i just have to say Unboxing video. Catch more. Oh. Yeah. In case you guys were wondering, if you don't see a Mexican, bald Mexican family with one of these shirts and one of these chains under, he ain't gonna be for you, bro. Ooh, Papi Chulo. Family. Family. Anyways, we got, oh, uh, left the key in the ignition. Let me not close the door either. We got muffler bypasses for the porters. Uh, that don't look like a box cutter, Marl. <laughs> You're right, this is a screwdriver. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, there you go. The official Haripo's box cutter. That's limited edition, right? Dude. Here we go. So limited, we don't even know about it, right? Cut. YouTube magic to where he gets us out of the package. So, 
butter. If you don't make a Pradrito top come off, are you doing it right? Sixty sixty one is not what I paid. It's what I would have paid if I got fat speed ones. But they're bypasses. Who the fuck cares? It's pretty small. So the great thing about bypasses for the young whipper snappers frees up noise and horsepower. There's a fat ass muffler on the side of these bitches that create a whole lot of heat, so we're gonna get rid of those. Whoa, Marl, be careful. Don't scratch up my cheap ass eBay bypasses. Bro, they done Ooh, scratched yeah. up already. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you want to eBay? Are we able to polish that? We polished my head. Whoa. Anyways. We gotta jack the car up, put it on jack sands or ramps, which I forgot to bring, and get these mufflers off, which will take like a couple minutes. All right, there we go. Fucking Marl walked off on me because Kayla called, and it's not a Kayla day. And it's, it's not, not a Kayla Marl. day. Nah, it's Tuesdays, Thursdays. Tuesdays, no. Thursdays, Saturdays, Sundays. Saturday. It's Monday. I I'm livid. If you quite ask me, but anyways, without like bullying him. Uh, right now we got it jacked up and on jack stands. Uh, would I'll show you guys like where to jack it from? <sighs> so these little, this area right here, this circle piece, that's where you put your jacket. You really should have a pad with a long bar that goes from the one all the way up there to here. So that way you can like jack on the bar in here, and it's just easier, and it gives you a little bit more height. But, I mean, it's whatever. As long as you have, like, a soft pad underneath there, you should be fine. But, over here, you put it onto the subframe right here. And that's where you put your jack stand at, onto the subframe. Then you do the same thing on the other side. And that'll give you more than enough space to get to everything on the muffler in here. But as you can see, like, if you do headers and shit, and you get rid of this muffler, you have so much room to do a lot of your work on your cams and valve train, which I'm clearly gonna need to do soon because as you see, I have a rear main seal leak, but that's fine because we're gonna be doing the Ellen Engineering IMS bearing solution soon with the clutch, rear main seal, burial cam, and basically all preventive maintenance first before we start doing any more crazy mods. These uh, bypass pipes were pretty cheap. I'll be putting these in the link below so that way you guys can get them. Um, for anyone who's doing their 996 and it'll fit pretty much any 996 or M96 engine really including boxers so for like 130 bucks or so 140 bucks that's not bad ship free shipping but so far what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna get this nut off we're gonna loosen this nut right here actually it'd be I'm sorry not that one it'd be this nut right here you loosen that one and then, but I want to let the exhaust manifold cool down a little bit because this shit is piping hot at the moment. And I do not want to touch that. So yeah, we'll let this cool down for a little bit. And then there's three bolts up there we got to get to. We got this, and then we can go ahead and just drop this out from there. You don't really have to take off the rear bumper to do this. Uh, that's like really a waste of time. And you'll end up breaking a clip and shit anyway. So I wouldn't really take it off unless you have to. When you gotta resort to back to the YouTube video and it, see why this shit isn't coming off. All right, the second step is to remove the collar here closest to the muffler, the one closest to the outside of the car. I had actually loosened both clamps and that made. Well, how on fire is your neck? I'm very on fire, my guy. <laughs> and you can see here, I'm just showing you where the collar is. Relative. You're not showing me shit. Some of this collar. No, I don't care about that. I'm looking for the three damn bolts. Oh, they're right there. Look, you gotta look through the header. I just have a regular Pass the header. Here. Uh, Fuck you and this goofball Jamal ass man. Alright, bro. Here, I'm gonna show you. Alright, hold on. No, 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 I'm gonna show you. Hold on. One. Two, three. Y'all, you feel Where? it with your hand? No, hold on. One. Two. Where's your third one? That's the bottom. It's like a triangle. 
three. Okay. Yeah, you got them? Yeah. The easiest ones are the two top ones to take off. You can use the ratchet with that. I'd figure. The bottom one, uh, I'll put, you can try the extension, a shorty, a deep, and the ratchet. Cool. Here. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, he's pulling his fuck up. That has a nice ring to it. What the fuck's wrong? What? Don't tell me they got oil in that. They melted. Are you serious? Yeah. How the fuck did that happen? Skin tight. That's it. Either those are gonna have to compress to come in, or let me see that. Or all right, so we got this side on. Boy, was that a bitch and a half. The other clamps are a lot better, but basically these, you just slip these on to the old pipe, and you just reuse one of the like little compressions that go under there. You put it on there, and you just tighten it up, and then you align it how you want. The hardest part is slipping it on there because it goes on there so tight. So Marl's working on this side while he's just watching and observe. probably have to say about these because they're like a compression like fit uh, I would say if these are just made a little bit looser that would actually be better so it can slide on there and you can adjust it better and the clamp will tighten up the metal instead of making it this tight I'm sure there's probably something we're doing wrong right yeah not ordering from a brand that actually already did the R&D well they did it they did it on their Carrera their Carrera yeah but as, as a actual plug and play yeah but like like i said like the thing on these is it's not made it's made tight like the pipe is made tight i mean granted it doesn't help that i smash this one and get their clothes so mufflers are on or not mufflers bypass are on mufflers are out and marl is cleaning off the pipes so the fingerprints and the smudge don't get burnt on and we're gonna clean a bunch of this stuff up and then we're gonna go for a drive. So we're all gonna do a flyby and then we're gonna go for a drive.
a better rep than that. Alright Marlon, so what's your verdict? I like it. You like it? Scale out of 1 out of 10. 11. But 11? I mean... And why do you like it? From stock to this, for how cheap it is, and how DIY it is, I think it deserves an 11. I give it like a 7.5. Only reason why I give it a 7.5 is because for one, the pipes could have fit better, but what could you expect, they're cheap. And then for two, uh, which isn't the pipe's fault, it's more so I don't have an X pipe or headers, but like the little low end uh, rev. So the idle sounds nice to me. The high end and the mid tone sounds nice to me. Is this the low end rev? I don't like it, it sounds like a fart. But once you get up on it, then it actually starts to sound like a Porsche to me. But, you know, once you do, like, intake manifold, because right now I just did a little cheap intake manifold hack where you put a cap over there, and then you cap that off and you put that on there, and you got yourself a little cold air intake because you really block off the Reza, the uh, silencer. But, yeah, it's, it's pretty good when you get on it, if you ask me. And then I think I pay, like, 140 bucks, 130 bucks. For that price, I mean, you can't really beat it. So yeah, I guess uh, that's the install, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Marlon, take us out of there. See you later. <laughs>